Welcome to Homewood Field, HopkinsSports.com. Ernie LaRossa here, joined by Johns Hopkins head football coach Jim Margraff. After the Blue Jays knocked off our sign as 49-13 in Centennial Conference action today. And Jim, you come into the last three weeks of the season knowing the, a, a chance at a conference championship's right in front of you, and you guys just took the bull by the horns today and, and took the game. Our guys played real well. Our, our sinus is a, it's a team that's always matched up with us very well. We've had close games with, us, uh, close games with them in the past. Uh, and they've, they've beaten us, I think, twice when we've been ranked. So uh, our, our guys, it caught our attention. Our guys were focused all week long. We had a great week of practice and played well today. You got out to the 14 nothing lead, and then they had probably their most sustained drive of the, of the game, and they, they sliced it to 14-6, and you think, okay, this, you know, they're hopping back in it, little history there, like you said, but we march right back down, and before you know it, you know, we're able to extend that lead. You know, what's the mindset of the kids when, when they hop back in it there? I think our guys play actually better when their backs are against a wall, wall a little bit or just a little bit of pressure. So uh, I was really happy to see them respond that way. And, and they played very well afterwards. So I, I was really pleased with offense, defense, and special teams. I thought all the guys played very well today. You look at the numbers today, over 500 yards of total offense, but really we really had it cranked up there for a part of the first half, over 400 before halftime. And really Brandon Cherry and Stuart Walters, again, just show you why they're, uh, they're both uh, first-team all-conference backs. Yeah, they played very well. It was a real focus this week uh, for them to, to stay on their tracks in the run game. Just just, just some uh, some details that we weren't hitting the last several weeks. I thought they did a great job today. Our, line, our O-line played well, and uh, you know John was pretty effective in the pass game too. So it all came together in that first half. How important it is, is it, with uh, you know two running backs like Brandon and Stu, but to have an effective passing game again, Brad Monday over 100 yards receiving today, John spreading the ball around a bit. I think we have enough weapons right now that we're, we're hard to defend. There's, there's, it's not like you shut down the run and – and, um, and just make us pass or, or shut down the pass and just make us run. I think we've got enough guys right now who can take the ball into the end zone. And, um, again, we, we've been playing well to this point. There's still a lot of things we need to work on the next couple of weeks. Talk about uh, the offense all the time because you put up 49 this week and all these yards, but really the Hopkins defense has just been lights out since the bye. You've been uh, 32 points allowed now in four games. Just talk about how dialed they, in they are right now. Our first group is outstanding. And, again, other than that one drive, uh, they really give a very few yards today and played extremely well. I was really happy to see that some of our second guys got the chance to play in the second half and, and had some goal line stands, some big plays. Uh, so it was, a, it was a great day for our defense, top through bottom. Every guy played, played and every guy played well. As we enter the home stretch here of the regular season, one of the things that jumps out on the stat sheet is the number of turnovers we're forcing, three uh, interceptions today, and we're cashing those into points. Those are big momentum plays, and they have to really just boost the whole team. I, I think every team focuses on that, and right now we're doing it. So uh, we just want to keep on that on that path right now. But we've been forcing a lot of turnovers. Uh, we've been turning them to points, which is great. And we haven't been turning the ball over that badly ourselves in, in critical situations. So if we continue on that path, I'll be, a, you know, we're pleased right now. Okay, again, John Hopkins knocks off for sinus 49-13 here at Homewood Field. Blue Jays back in action next week right here at Homewood again, senior day. FNM comes to town. Hopkins with a one-game lead in the Centennial Conference standings. One more win for the Blue Jays next week, and they clinch the Centennial Conference automatic bid to the upcoming NCAA playoffs. Stay tuned to HopkinsSports.com for everything Blue Jay football.